Now I'm going to collect some data for a cart going up and down a ramp. I've got the detector at the top. See, there it goes up and back. Now I want to save the data so that I can put it into a spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Export Data, and it brings up this menu. At this point, I'm just going to save the position time data, so I'm going to eliminate the acceleration and velocity. We can keep that in as well. For Export Type, I'm choosing a tab delimited text file. Choose where it goes, what its name is. Give it a name that I like. Now I've got myself a text file. Here I'm first going to open it up in just a plain vanilla text editor. That's the default, and I see that it's defaulted by tab, and I've got two columns. I've got a tab for time and a tab for position, so that's what I want, so I can get rid of that. Next, I want to transfer this to a spreadsheet, specifically a Google spreadsheet. And the way to do that is we find the Import tab, and then we go to Upload. We select the file. Dragging works, too, um, and it comes in. Then we can have a look at the file, look at the data once it loads, and we can see that we've got a column for time and a column for position, just like we want. And we can treat this like any kind of data that we've entered into a spreadsheet. Here I'm going to graph it, so I select the data, choose Insert Chart, and it puts in a graph, and we can see that this graph is the same graph that we had inside Capstone. We can adjust the graphing parameters. I'm going to make this a scatter plot because I'm most comfortable with scatter plots in Google Sheets. What I'd actually like to do is just select the part of the graph that looks like a parabola and try to fit that with a parabolic fit. So I'll just take a look at this graph, and it looks like the part between one second and three seconds looks pretty reasonable. So maybe I can scroll through the data see where the one second to three seconds starts, and just use that part of the data to actually try to fit my parabolic equation. Looks like my best bet for that will be to make a new plot. And once that's done, I'll go into Chart Editor and change the setup and change the data range. So I'll select the data range that I want, and hopefully that I can pull just the data that looks like it's acting most parabolic. So here I'm selecting the data that I like. And after some trial and error, I think I have a region that looks pretty parabolic. So I'll try to do a parabolic fit to that. And I can also subject that segment of the data to the linest estimating function and get really good, uh, lots of significant figures in my fitted parameters. So hopefully this is the parabolic region of the plot, or hopefully this fits a parabolic equation pretty well. I'm going to run a second order polynomial fit to this trend line, um, and I want it to display the equation. Change around some of the plot parameters, plot symbol size, things like that, just to suit my fancy, to make it look nice. Next, I'm going to look at some curve fitting and some graphical things that we can do within Capstone. So this is a velocity time plot for the data that we saw before. Now I'm going to bring up a selector region. So it brings up that green uh, rectangle. And so I resize the rectangle to encapsulate the data that I'm interested in fitting. So I'm going to grab what looks to me like the, re the linear region. And since it looks like the slope might change a little bit right at the zero, I'm going to pick each side individually. So here I've got the left side. I'm going to select a linear fit y equals ax plus b, or a times t plus b. And notice it displays the equation for that. I move it to the other region, and notice that's still displaying y equals ax plus b, but it's a different equation 
because it's a slightly different slope for this region of the plot. And here I can resize the selection zone to encapsulate the entire thing and get the average overall slope for the whole region.